Hello, friends, and welcome back to Stories About Entitled People. Being an a-hole is kind of a way of coping and keeping mental health, but I think this was the absolute perfect way to handle the situation by our OP. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video every single day. Here we go. Never snap your fingers at someone to get their attention. I consider myself a patient and cool-headed guy, not easily angered or mad even in tense situations. However, I do have one trigger from my childhood that gets me instantly enraged. Living with my abusive aunt, she snapped her fingers every time she wanted you to do something. So if anyone snaps their fingers to get my or anyone's else's attention, I go from level 1 to level 10 in seconds. It's something I'm fully aware of and my friends always joke with me about it. Adam's family theme song is my ringtone for when they call. But a few weeks back, I'm at a, by and large, it's not my usual store to go to, I'm wearing a business button-up long sleeve shirt and black slacks. I'm also in sneakers and no tie, just casual nice. I'm passing through the clothing tables in the middle to see if they have anything I like. I first hear the snapping fingers like it's a gunshot. I instantly look over and this large woman is facing away and trying to get the attention of an employee. My rage at hearing the snapping is in an eight and my eyes are staring daggers at this B-word, but she's unaware of my presence. I'm just far enough away that I don't hear their conversation, just bits and pieces that she's trying to find an outfit in her size. It's not likely given her ample size. The female employee with the headset is politely helping her look through the stacks of clothes and that's all the interaction I see take place. I calm down enough and go about my business. I know what I want there and it's only to pick up a few select items in the back and in the freezer section. Roughly 10 to 20 minutes later, I'm trying to find where a particular item is as it's always been down the same aisle in every store. I look around for an employee and find the same female with the headset walking toward the employee section in the back. I politely ask her where said item is or is it not sold at this store. She's as perplexed as I am as it's not her area. She radios into her headset and someone in the back goes to check on a computer. While we're waiting, I inquire about the lady who snapped her fingers at her. The female employee is cool about it and shrugs it off like it's all part of the job, smiling, even saying that's a fairly common occurrence. WTF. The person on the radio informs us that said item is on a different aisle up front, so the two of us walk there. I leave my cart off to the side of a new aisle out of the way of traffic, and we chit-chat about the item and why it's so good, maybe for 10 or 15 seconds of dialogue, when I hear a female voice loudly shout, There you are! I still need your help, and you go walk off! Then she snaps her fingers and points down as if she's to heal by her side. I'm instantly enraged to a 10. She wasn't even talking to me, but that didn't matter. I lock eyes onto hers and make a beeline over to where she stood. Don't do this. <laughs> Snapping my fingers just inches from her face. Each time she winces back with bug eyes and an open mouth gape. The female employee was quick on the take and intervened before I could go off on an epic rant I had rolling around in my head since I first saw her do that. The woman could only sputter nonsense like I'd slapped her, never taking her eyes from mine for fear I would attack her something. There were quite a few people gawking at the spectacle and several more employees intervened when the GM came. The fat B-word instantly put on the waterworks and started hysterically recalling what happened. I was PO'd, but in full control of myself and thinking clearly, I was far enough away, standing still, breathing slowly while she was freaking out at the gall that someone would attack her like that. Her mistake was when she said through blubbering lips, I want that man fired. He attacked me. Everyone saw it. The puzzled look on everyone's face was evident. The GM, the female employee, the others who came in later. Ma'am, what are you talking about? I chimed in with a cool and calm voice. The rude one here believes I work here. So instead of firing me... I quit, boss. Didn't get the laugh I was intending, but it did defuse the tension like a charm. The woman yelled back, You do too work here. I saw you talking with her, pointing at the female employee next to me. The GM looked at me. I looked back and calmly said, Yes, as a customer, I asked your wonderful employee here where the, pointing to the item that moments ago was requested over the headset, item was. And here it is. 
The woman goes into another hysterical fit, garbled, frustrated noises, none of which are even English. The GM pulls her aside to calm her down, and I go back to my cart with an employee escort. I purchase my items, stand in the receipt checking line. I look around to see the B-word walking with the GM towards the manager's office. I snap my fingers to get her attention, but only the GM looks over with a bit of a scowl. I head out of the store intending never to come back. Not that exciting of an ending, but I did ruin her day, and that's plenty of satisfaction for me. I called the store later that evening to get any additional information and to apologize for my part in the fiasco. The new manager on duty was made aware of the situation, but didn't know many details. He thanked me for my apology and said he would relay to the GM when they talk next. I asked if she ever received compensation for her troubles. He assured me she didn't. I don't regret what I did, nor will I apologize to her for it. If she doesn't know that snapping your fingers to get someone's attention is rude and degrading, she deserved the aftermath of someone doing it to her in return. She ain't gonna like it. <laughs> and our next story. Crazy lady tries to bean me with a can of veggies, ends up in a psych cell. I work as a nurse at the local jail. This plays a role later. On to our cast introduction. Me, obviously. CK is Crazy Karen. S-L-O-L is sweet little old lady, L-E-O is law enforcement officer, and my favorite two-leg pussycats, R-N, change nurse, shift boss. I took it upon myself to hit the nearby supermarket during my lunch break to pick up some stuff to go with the chef salad I made. I love salad, y'all. Yep, I'm Southern. Feel free to pick fun if you want. The place isn't big, but it's always clean and the staff's always nice. So I head down the aisle, split of crackers and cookies and bottled drinks, I go down about halfway when I notice S-L-O-L struggling to reach something over her head. I'd say she's five feet tall, so I stop and ask her if I can help. I'm five foot ten, so there's not a lot that's out of my reach. She points out her item, I grab it for her, and she thanks me for the help. I tell her my mom is about her size, so I'm used to it, and I'm just glad she wasn't stuck waiting for too long for help. Right about then, I hear it. Dun, dun, dun. Crazy Karen. C.K. Now that you're done bullcrapping with that old bag, you need to put these water cases in my cart. Me, turning to look at her. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't work here. I just stopped to help SLOL. CK, I don't want to hear your excuses. Do your job. Me, motioning to my scrubs. Seriously, I don't work here. And I started to walk away. CK grabbed my arm to stop me digging her nails into my arm. CK, do your effing job now. I snatched my arm away. Me. Lady, if you ever touch me again, I will end you. Again, I don't work here. Go find an associate to do that. I take a few steps and see a damn can fly by my head. Cue demonic possession Karen mode. I turn around to see this psycho wielding another can of veggies that she chucks at me as hard as she can. Missed again, thank God. All the while screaming about how lazy and incompetent I am and that she's going to have my job. Mind you... I'm backing further away when a cashier who can see down the aisle from the register runs in our direction and another apparently called the cops. CK continued to yell and throw items not only at me but at the staff that's starting to accumulate around us. Nothing she is saying is making any sense. Finally, Elio makes it to the scene, attempts to calm the woman, and of course ends up putting her in cuffs, during which she screams, assaults, and tries to bite the guy. Staff and SLOL all give statements about the incident. SLOL was a little shaken but unharmed, and she ended up behind CK after she grabbed me. Once he has her under control, I check out and head back to work. I stop in medical to tell the RN about CK and that she'll need to book her in for me. I clean the nail marks on my arm and we head back to the booking. It took some time for them to show up. Apparently, after she was in the cruiser, she began to yell about her kid being in her car, an eight-year-old. The child's father was called. We're all standing and booking when the exterior door slides open and in comes Elio with CK in tow, still acting a fool. The booking process, medically speaking, is pretty quick. Vitals, a few questions. You have any health problems? You on any medications? CK, eyes locked on me. What the F is that B word doing here? Elio, she works here. CK, take these effing cuffs off me. I'm going to break that raggedy B word. The RN tells me to go into the office, then attempts to perform the booking assessment. 
CK pretty much ignoring the questions and cursing at the RN, yelling about killing me when she gets her hands free. To this, the RN says to the officers, Yep, she appears to be homicidal by her own admission. She needs to go to self-harm observation. CK was charged for assault, endangerment, assault on LEO, and illegal substances. She was placed in a psych cell with nothing but a turtle suit for the weekend. Upside of this situation, the father of the child called me earlier this week to thank me because he's been trying to get custody of the child and with this arrest has a good shot to take her on and give her some normalcy. I'm glad something good came of all this. Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video to the end and I'll see you in the next one.